Well, hello there, my beautiful people. It's me, Jadzi Mac. I have several opportunities for a cash app. And yes, I heard you. I've got part-time opportunities as well. I've also got opportunities that are going to be no phones, California friendly. I got you guys covered. Okay. And before we get started with these amazing opportunities, if you want to see more work from home, no phone, fun company opportunities like cash app, please give this video a like and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Go ahead. I'm going to give you a second to go ahead and hit that like button. Okay. Because I don't really know that what you guys want to see if you're not liking the video. So let's look at these opportunities. Um, they're going to provide you the equipment. They're going to allow you to use your Wi-Fi. They're going to send you a stipend for you to set up your office. Like Cash App has got it going on. They've got sign on bonuses, all that good stuff. Let's hop into it. I do have some bonus opportunities for you guys as well, because, you know, I like to give stuff away. So let's look at this opportunity. Well, first, I want to look at the bonus opportunities because this is an exciting one. You all didn't even think about how Foot Locker has work from home opportunities and they've got a really cool opportunity for a social media specialist. A lot of you have been saying, Jazzy, I want to do something fun. I want to do something that's no phones that I'm good at. Well, social media specialist is going to be perfect because y'all be cyber stalking people anyway on social media looking at exes and ex-friends and all that type of stuff. So you've already got this social media specialist experience. And I want you to ignore the location because there's going to be something down here that says this position is fully remote. So what are you going to do as a social media specialist? Well, let's talk about it. It says that you're going to create and maintain um, filters for monitoring content related to our brands. You're going to select and prioritize conversations for engagement um, with customers. You're going to also support the corporate social media initiatives and ensure timely monitoring and reporting of social channels daily and weekly. OK, you might service some internal customers that are asking stuff about um, Amazon inquiries or biz rate inquiries, things of that nature. But for the most part, you're going to obviously make sure that people aren't, you know, saying slanderous things like on the website or if they've got questions on the social media pages, that you're answering those questions in an efficient and professional manner. And for your qualifications, a lot of people are like, Jazzy, I don't have a degree. Jazzy, I don't have experience. Does this say anything about a degree? Does it say anything about experience? It literally says all you need to do is have some computer navigation skills, be able to type and be polite and professional. So please don't count yourself out. OK, even if you feel like you're not qualified for a job, you need to apply. You need to continue applying. Let them tell you no, but stop telling yourself no because of your age, your experience, your location and all these other reasons that we tend to make up in our head when we feel a little bit self-conscious. So that is going to be the first opportunity, the social media specialist. They've got some other opportunities out here. I do see a part-time opportunity, the contact center team lead. A lot of people just want to work part-time. Now this one does say it's on site. I don't know if I were you, I'd still ask them if they're willing to do like remote. Um, you never know because sometimes these these positions are like the job descriptions are outdated. Um, somebody just didn't update it to being a remote position. So you want to make sure that you're always asking. OK, so. Some of the other opportunities that um, I wanted to take a look at with you all are going to be for H&R Block because we've had people that have gotten some tax jobs out here and I wanted to show this one to you all as well. This is another um, support specialist role. It is 100% remote um, and the cool thing about H&R Block is they do train you. They've actually got a training schedule down here that we're going to look at. This is 
is a no weekends job. Um, it is $17 an hour. It's great for beginners, great for anyone that, you know, just wants to get that work from home experience. Um, it is a seasonal position that may last up to six months. What happens in a lot of these seasonal positions is a lot of people just get hired on with the company full time. You know, they do great in the training. They do great in the, the seasonal role. And then they become just a full time employee. So if you don't have that experience, you've never worked from home before. These are the types of jobs that help you climb. You know, they're like stepping stones, you know. So you do this for six months and then you go into a role that pays 50K a year or, you know, however much you're seeking. All they want you to have is a high school diploma. Again, no experience is necessary for jobs like this because they train you. OK, so the pay range is um, it starts at a minimum of 17. Ignore this over here. And it goes up to twenty four dollars per hour based on your experience. So what you need to make sure you do is you obviously want to have like a good work from home space because this is going to be a job where they allow you to have your own equipment. I'm not sure if they give you like the, um, you know, like the office stipend. I'm not sure about that, but yeah. So this is going to be a job where you're talking to clients either via phone, mail or email. I'm pretty sure you're not going to talk to anybody via mail. It would probably be more like um, some sort of chat support um, or email support. So, again, it's very great experience for my newbies, anybody that's worked in customer service and you want to get into more financial technology related stuff. Um, this is going to just be perfect. So it says you're going to use their internal systems to maintain tax professional training and certification records. So this isn't like helping people with their taxes. This is just keeping track of the people that have these certifications. OK, making sure that they stay in compliance with federal and state licensing. Um, you're going to do research. You're going to act as a contact for escalated cases related to payroll, tax operations, benefits and timekeeping departments um, as it relates to the world headquarters. Again, fully remote job. Um, just want to make sure that you all understand that. And so this is a really cool job. I think it's great for beginners. 100% remote. It is seasonal. And then the other role that H&R Block has is going to be another social media agent role. Now, this one is also going to be 100% work from home. So it says you're going to respond to various client issues um, across multiple channels, chat, email, whatever, and multiple H&R Block social media pages like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. OK, you're going to provide detailed research. Um, of knowledge bases to deepen their understanding of uh, products that they might have questions about, monitor and address client concerns that arrive via Google Play or the iOS app store reviews. So if someone's saying, hey, I had a, a bad experience with this and they leave a, a review in the iOS um, app store, you could respond to that and say, hey, Jen, um, you know, have you tried this? Uh, give us an email and, you know, we'll try and help you figure out what's going on on. So minimum compensation is going to be 21 per hour. No um, diploma or like, sorry, no degree is required for this position. They just want you to have a year of experience in customer service. Uh, phone center doesn't really matter. Um, experience working in social media, like y'all do this all the time. Okay. Y'all are experts in social media <laughs> as am I. Okay. So pretty much that's going to be it. And then they've got the the uh, 10 month assignment, like training schedules. So they've got like eight to fives. They have also got the 10 to sevens. Um, and it just kind of depends on like what your start date is and how long you, you know, plan on being with the company. So that's going to pretty much do it for this role. It does. It starts at 21. It goes up to about $27 per hour. So if you've never worked for a company like H&R Block, understand that having this on your resume is huge. OK, we you have big name companies like H&R Block or maybe like Discover, um, you don't want to downplay these like 
entry level customer service jobs because those jobs, when like future employers see it on your resume, they're like, oh, you work for H and R, blah. Oh, you work for Discover. Oh my gosh. So yeah, it's gonna make you look really good. So don't shun small beginnings. Okay. Now for Cash App. Okay, I know everybody's been waiting on Cash App. Okay. Oh, and forgot to tell you that U-Haul still has a bunch of part time roles. A bunch of people have been asking me about part time. U-Haul has them. Okay. So check out U-Haul. Now when it comes to cash app and I hope you all have stopped to like this video look how much I've given you already like these are amazing work from home opportunities okay so before we get into cash app go ahead and hit that like button okay now gotta do my shout outs because Sedriana said I just came back to say thank you just got a job with TurboTax and everything is going beautifully thank you so much for your templates and all your help God bless okay congratulations to you some of these are comments that I just for some reason like YouTube will hide certain comments like sometimes they'll just pop up out of the blue so I'm sorry I've never like shouted you out before Sedriana but congratulations to you so glad that the templates helped you and of course the templates are available for all of you they're down in the description box and all of this stuff has already been added to your library if you're a, a part of the uh, resume subscription um oleander said hi jazzy just found your channel thank you so much for your resume and cover letter templates i didn't land a job that was advertised on your channel but i did land my dream job with another pending offer for a role that starts at eighty thousand dollars your templates helped me structure my managing experience in a way that genuinely impressed hiring managers i ended my subscription today since i just started my new job but wanted to comment and let you know that i appreciate the work you do listen Congratulations to you, okay? If you get a job and you end the subscription, that was the purpose of you having that subscription to land a job. You know, it will never hurt my feelings if you say, Jazzy, I got a job, gonna end my subscription because that's the whole purpose of it, okay? So I love that you applied this and you continue to look for other jobs even outside of the channel and you're getting an $80,000 job. Honey, you're gonna be in six figures in the next six months. So congratulations to you, so happy to hear it. And then Ms. Susie said, I start my part-time job with rent the runway today. Probably would have never thought to apply. I plan to continue applying until I find something full time. Uh, keep up the good work. Congratulations to you. I heard rent the runway is a really cool company. So, you know, like opportunities like those are again, stepping stones. So I love it. And then Jazzy said, hi, Jazzy. So thankful for your resume scripts was offered two jobs within one month of using your resumes, one with Comcast, the other with William Sonoma. Happy to say I accepted a part time position with William Sonoma. Thank you so much. And to anyone thinking of getting the subscription, do it. Keep applying. The right job is coming. Congratulations to you. Like I get so excited when you all get these multiple job offers like that's the goal. We want to have recruiters running behind us. OK, we want to have options. So. So I'm so glad that you stayed patient, Jazzy, and congratulations. Um, blessed wife and mommy said Jazz got the part-time job with Wilm Sonoma starting on the 17th. Y'all, if you can afford the resume membership, super duper worth it. Congratulations to you. I'm super excited for you. And then Tawana said, Hey Jazz, he landed the Discover inbound personal loan servicing, but get this, I got the Delta position as well. Turned down Delta, but it's all good. Got the higher paying job with Discover. Thank you for posting. Congratulations. Again, multiple offers is what we are after. And then if you guys didn't see like my Etsy video that I did yesterday, um, Daphne said, thanks, Jazzy. I have created a shop and pending verification for billing setup. I will report back. This is such a good time to start due to Juneteenth being around the corner. That's going to be a huge holiday, especially for like um, Etsy related stuff. So congratulations to you. I'm glad that you're like getting a head start because like you have to start early if you want to start seeing that major like boom in your sales. So congratulations to all you people. Now let's get down with the get down. Okay. It is time for us to get into the cash app opportunities. I'm going to break these down because a lot of these jobs will have these fancy pants words in them. And sometimes they will be a little intimidating. So let's get into the first opportunity. Now this actually what I want to do, I want to, I actually want to start with this middle one because I've gotten a lot of questions about this. And I want to point out something. Uh, Cash App is a remote first company. 
So even if they've got like a location listed in the job, um, they don't really care where you work because they're remote friendly. Okay, California people, Ontario, Canada people, I'm talking to you. So as an emerging risk analyst, it says we're looking for a financial crimes analyst with an understanding of BSA AML regulations. A lot of you people that have worked in banks, you're familiar with BSA. BSA is going to be Bank Secrecy Act. AML is going to be Anti-Money Laundering Act. If you've ever worked in any type of uh, like customer support role where you're, you know, handling money, you're handling gift cards, um, this is the type of stuff that you generally will go through uh, training for. I can remember years ago when I worked at Walmart, even um, like working there as a part time employee with customer um, support, it wasn't like. It wasn't like this, you know, crazy, complex job. It was just like literally a customer support role. But we had to do AML training. We had to do anti-money laundering training. We had to be able to identify what counterfeit money looked like. We had to be able to um, identify someone that had an excessive amount of refunds, you know, or an excessive amount of gift card purchases. Um, all that kind of goes into like preventing money laundering, which thus is the word anti-money laundering. Um, and then these bank secrecy acts. So um, anyone that's responsible for for reporting suspicious activity um, that's going to be in this realm of being a risk analyst. Okay. So you don't have to be some like detective, but chances are a bunch of you that have worked in like um, the dispute department, maybe you've worked in like billing support, payment arrangement support. Um, you've done auditing. A lot of that is going to transfer so beautifully. So, I mean, if you've ever been someone that had to work with a customer on doing a charge back because they're reporting that, you know, someone stole their credit card, whatever, all of that is relevant experience. So now that you know what this is, these words are not as intimidating to you. Okay. So essentially you are going to monitor, you know, different things related to someone being, you know, a little fraudulent when it comes to cash app. Are they sending $10,000 payments every single day or, or, you know, are they receiving these large payments? You know, anything that could be a little risque. Um, it's great if you have SQL, Python, Tableau or Excel experience or any other data analysis tools. If you don't have SQL, but you're good at building Excel tables, you're good at exporting or extracting data from Excel tables, this is going to be great. Okay. Again, jobs like this, like sometimes if they don't, if you don't have SQL experience, whatever task that requires that, they'll just pass it off to like a more senior person. I know when I worked for like um, these federal jobs in the financial departments, um, they wanted you to have SQL. And I was like, no, I don't have that, but I do have, you know, all these other qualifications. And they were like, oh, we only use SQL like, you know, once a month, we'll just get our senior person to do it. And we'll just let you focus on, you know, some other aspects. So Again, if you've got it sell, that's great. Okay. Um, other experience related to like customer accounts. Again, we've talked about that. And then, you know, anything that you've done financially, you know, that's going to be very, very relevant to this role. So make sure you're highlighting that on the resume. Like I've already added all of the necessary stuff on these resumes. But if you've got additional job experience, make sure you're highlighting that as well. So these jobs pay a lot. Okay. These are six figure jobs, no matter what zone you live in. Zone A is going to be pretty much like San Francisco, New York. Um, I think zone B and zone C's are more like, um, Atlanta, like, um, you know, the cities that have a higher cost of living, but it's not like as much as San Francisco or something like that. So yeah, easily six figure job. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. And then in addition to this, we've got a couple of other roles. Um, the third party response coordinator, that's going to be somebody that pretty much answers, um, uh, they answer requests from outside uh, partners. So somebody could be doing a banking partner inquiry and that's going to be where there's like, hey, we're doing an audit. Can you get us a report on, you know, your anti-money laundering initiatives or something like that? You know, a lot of ad hoc 
inquiries, which means like um, kind of like random reports that people may request. So if you've ever worked in legal, you've ever worked in compliance, you've ever worked in any type of auditing, um, these are going to kind of fall under that umbrella. So there's going to be a lot of administrative work, um, responding to requests for information, you know, sending reports out again, they're going to train you. Okay. So don't feel like you, you have to have like, you know, just be some detective out here. You really don't. So wanted to put this out there because a lot of people say, Jazzy, I've worked in investigations. I worked in auditing. I've worked in risk. Like, what do you have? So this is a good position. And then the other one that I really wanted to point out is the risk operations lead. I know it says Atlanta again, remote first company doesn't really care where your location is. And these people um, under the risk operations department for disputes, okay, they're going to kind of manage the agents that handle disputes related to Cash App, okay? They do workforce planning and management, which means they essentially are planning out, you know, how many uh, dispute reps or dispute agents they're going to need to cover a certain amount of work, okay? So if you've ever, like, managed a call center, you were a supervisor, you had to do anything related to scheduling people, perfect job for you, okay? Absolutely perfect, um, so you're going to work with the customer operations team. You might work with a uh, voice of customer, which is the people that kind of monitor the customer experience um, that people, you know, for people that are calling in or people that are emailing, um, you know, that's that's what voice of customer means. Um, and then workforce management. We've talked about that just now. So, again, Pretty much supervisory uh, position responsible for delegating and kind of managing, scheduling, that sort of a thing. OK, again, six figure role. OK, six figures easily over here. Right. Perfect benefits, retirement stock like cash app is like a bomb job to have. OK, I would have loved to work for Cash App. OK, so let me know if you all have any questions like um, and make sure you have liked this video. You've commented. OK, say something. Say hello. Hi. Congratulations to these people. Like, don't come here just watching. Talk to me, people. Alrighty. So until then, I will see you all in the next video. Let me know if you've got any questions and I'm out. Bye.